Let's start Final Fantasy. I liked it when Sid was part of MSQ. I did too. <laughs> He's certainly taking his time. What sort of grand present could take so long to receive? Me, because I'm RV Grand. The, <laughs> the kind that'll help him in the void, I presume. In that godforsaken place, he'll need all the help he can get. But you of all people ought to know that, eh? Post and Walker stuff is important going into Dawn Trail, so we must pay attention. Okay. <laughs> Who's this girl? With the fancy armor. Oh, they're the Rods at Hunt people. My apologies for keeping you waiting. See? Do I sound like him? Oh, he got a new getup. Vritra, I presume. He got older. Indeed, this vessel now serves as a host for my eye. He looks, he has my horns. I was aware that the alchemists were busy preparing something, but this. He made him we older. We couldn't well send you on such a perilous mission unprepared, Your Excellency. We spared no effort in crafting the body. And I dare say you'll find it adept at wielding weapons and magics both. Looking like he just walked out of the anime. It was our intent to present it to you sooner, but we could not bring ourselves to do so, knowing we could yet improve it further. Pray forgive us. There is not to forgive. I am grateful for this fine vessel, and shall put it to good use. Without my Again, shiny. I ask that you watch over Radzatan in my absence. The dangers we go to face are great and many, and I fear I will be unable to give matters here due attention. And in opening the Void Gate, there is ever risk that Void Scent will find their way into our world. Rest assured, we are more than prepared. Our soldiers have been training under Master Estinian. On my honor, we will not suffer a single fiend to pass. He is now Master Estinian. Damn. So, think only of your mission, Vasha. Ah, but seeing as this is a different body, perhaps we should use a different name. Mm. Varshan 2.0. Nay, Varshan <laughs> shall suffice. <laughs> Though I may have thus grown up, I am as ever a little brother to you all. As you say, as you say. Go then, Vashan. And best of luck. He's like one of those actors who are trying to portray teenagers in movies. But they're actually 30. <laughs> I have something for you as well. While you were gone, Orionje paid us a visit. As you may recall, he joined us on our foray into Arzadar's legacy in part to conduct research for the Loperitz. Research they were delighted to receive, and which has already inspired them to consider new ways to improve their own treasure vault. As a token of their gratitude, Living Way entrusted a familiar relic to Orionje. Is it a creation stone? Oh. It's a moon breeder crystal. The crystal which showed the way to Meteon. Oh. The Loperitz no longer have need of it, 
and thus saw fit to return it to us. Harboring the power of light, it could well aid us in our mission in the void. And who better to bear Heidelin's gift than her chosen champion? Look at my glasses. They don't have glass on them. Why do you look like this? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to change from my houseware. Oh! That's <laughs> <laughs> what I look like when I'm not Your... saving the world. Yeah, right. If there is nothing left to discuss, then let us depart. Our boat awaits us in Akiali. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I shall now lift the sea. Now you can go. In the name of Al Zadal the Third, I cast open this door unto the void. Absorb the Void Gate! Worked. We should have no trouble passing through a gate of that size. What can we expect to find after stepping through? Oh, there it is. Okay, guys. On my previous foray, I emerged in a castle swarming with void scent. Accidentally pressed it. But yeah, the person getting married today is standing outside the door and this did not know we were streaming today. So that's what happened. And now he's out there talking to CV. <laughs> so let me see if I can catch up in mine. And then I'll move the story along. She has the door open and is letting all the cool air out. And it is still hot out there. It is so hot out there. Here we go. Caught up. I was hopelessly outnumbered and forced to turn back. But together, I am confident we can hold our own. He's usually like, you know, he, the, the guy getting married is out in the in the army thing and is only here for a few days to get married and leave again. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why we're attending. <laughs> yeah. The youngins these days, you know what I'm saying? Upon our arrival, let us deal with any hostile entities and secure the area. Oh, uh, no. Hi. 
There we go. Let's put this here. The command of our mission, I leave in your capable hands. In the event of battle, I shall adapt my tactics to complement your own. Does that mean he can't tell? Should we require healing? I can provide it. It would be a welcome change of pace from my recent havoc wreaking. Are you back? I'm back. <laughs> Lego's not back. Lego disappeared. Take heart, my friends, and have faith. We will brave this broken world and rescue my sister, Ajdaya. Ajdaya. He's my dragon brother. So that's the fell court of Troya, duty. Whoa. We're here again. Yeah, we are. I don't have to switch it because we're here together. This happens to us a lot. This in between these. <laughs> What's the other guy? I didn't see. Was he just a tall here? All right. First time here. First time here. Whoa, whoa. It's a mirror. <laughs> we got another knock. It's okay. She'll come back, guys. Don't worry about her if she dies. Go on, we'll go on. She'll follow us. She'll follow. Okay. Just don't report her. Make sure not to report her. <laughs> we'll go on here. Maybe she DC. You don't know. You don't know what's happening. Maybe she DC. <laughs> Catch up, wifey. I'm catching up. You're he, falling behind. He showed up with friends. Oh, he did. There were like multiple people that came. Oh, uh, and I'm not supposed to tell you. I just aggroed. Sorry. You did. Guys, don't report the DPS that's aggroing the boss. Oh, that was weird. Oh, oh. Oh, more faces. What an interesting boss. Uh oh. Why is there a circle? Are we supposed to be on that circle? We put that circle down. We put that circle down. Alright, look at this. Oh. More heads. Heads, heads, heads everywhere. Uh oh, away from each other. In the midst of all the heads. You're making me work. You're making me work. So much head. <laughs> We're getting so much head. They're everywhere. Oh, don't be in front of them, I guess. Over here. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh, we're supposed to kill him. We did not kill them. We did not kill the heads. Oh, 
Make sure you're AOEing. Are you AOEing? Yes. All right. Because last week you'd forgotten how to AOE. I did. That was a thing. Oh, uh oh. They're forming a big head. You are finished, it says. <laughs> Or I think is this a DPS check? Oh. This is not a AoE anymore. This is your regular rotation. Yeah. Okay. Just letting you know. I got that one. Alright. Another circle. Oh. Nice. Good job, guys. Carceri 4. Whoa, look at that castle. It's gorgeous. It's okay, I'm gonna look back at the VOD later and see if she was AOEing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she wasn't. Oh my god! <laughs> Why do you say that about me? Because that's what I find when I go through. <laughs> I feel so called out right now. <laughs> I just saying. We're gonna. Was there another one that wasn't on me? Dang it! I am failing right now. I gotta pay attention. What you know about Castlevania, wifey? It sounds like Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> am I not picking up on the right vibes here? You are. I mean, Transylvania is a what? Trip. Besides a country? Yeah. It's a country. <laughs> Castlevania is a is a game about Dracula. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it tends to be gothic like this. And well then I was on the right path. Correct. I am failing as a tank right now. That guy keeps stealing aggro from me. I must apologize to him. Or I could just get mad at him for stealing aggro from me. <laughs> like all the other tanks out there. That you should make it this far. No matter, I will devour you personally. Come gaze into my eye. His, this person's name is Beatrice. Oh, don't look at those eyes. Don't look at those eyes. It was four eyes that turned into one big eye. Don't, don't get in front of the lasers. Uh, don't be on the lasers. They're turning red. Don't look at the eyes again! Get away from each other! Whoa, cool chair. It is a cool chair. <laughs> oh, it's like Castlevania where the thing in the back is a pathway. Oh! oh. So the gate did open again and delivered the most mouth-watering morsels. Oh. Okay. What? All right. I am Scar Milione, Archfiend of Earth and first of Golbez's circle of four. Scar Milione. Such pleasure I will take in delivering you unto your grave. Okay, so which color was she? The, the orange one? That does sound like Frieza! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's like a, a... A mantis? Like a... Like a water mantis? Except... A shirt. A water mantis? What do you call that? Not a mantis. Uh, a manatee? No, not a manatee. The thing that killed... Uh, Crikey! Stingray. A stingray. For some reason, I wanted to call it a mantis. Because that is the Pokemon form. Oh. oh. And it's called a mantike. It is a mantike. All right. All right. Oh, don't be there. <laughs> oh, center, center. Away from each other. Away from each other. Well, it is a fun one. 
There's a lot of them zombies. What's going on? What's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we supposed to have dodged that? Oh. Yeah. Oh no! He got killed before he limit break. That was unfortunate, Mr. Pictomancer. Oh, is that what he is? Yeah. <laughs> he got one shot. <laughs> oh no! You got one shot! You were on it! <laughs> there was no way to, to dodge that, man. I got away from that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that helps oh. the healer out. Cool. A lot of help you guys were. This Scarmelione, he knew the gate had opened. And not for the first time. He and his brethren must keep watch over the portal. As we do ours, but to unflinchingly consume our fellow void scent. Me. Like men, perhaps they form factions and fight amongst themselves. The question is, what will the minions do? Oh. Your mistress is no more, and the one who consumed her we slew in turn. Do you still mean to try us? No. I expect some void scent are more intelligent than others. Perhaps these ones simply do not understand our words. Even beasts ought to understand strength. That's right. There is much we do not know about Voidsent. If we are to survive their world, it would be wise to learn their ways. Don't overthink it. We'll improvise as we go along. Is that what we say? Yeah. Okay. That's what we normally do. If that is your preferred approach, then very well. I shall defer to your adventurer's intuition. So they're just gonna fly over us? I am here, sister. Finally here. And I will find you. I swear it. How many siblings do you have? Race Velger. Him. Wow. The other one with the eyes that we took from, uh, that Estinian took their sister and then this sister and then the one that was trapped in the Alagan place I have six dark robed individual oh it must be Zenos He's, he's got hands covering his eye. Here. Here. 
You want the fun. Huh. Yeah. That's the thing. Alright. You're the void sent bound to Xenos. Is that what you say? Mm -hmm. I see it now. The bottomless darkness. The insatiable hunger. The aura was present when we faced him in Garlemald. How did it come to be here? Well... When Xenos died, its connection to the source was severed. It was forced to return to the void. Xenos. Yes, that was his name. And you are the friend, are you not? Yes, we were buddies. We were friends. BFFs forever. Is that Heidelin's crystal? Oh. Oh. Hmm. What? Who this? Who this? Cat boy. Regular boy. But how? Girl. <laughs> the light just now. Of course. And thus I am returned. Hmm. What do you mean, returned? Who are you? I was once bound to the man named Xenos. His avatar, until you killed him. Oh. Avatar, as in the void sent servants of Reapers. In the name of his hunt, Xenos took up that traditional Galian art. And through it, he forged a covenant with a being of the Void to lend him strength. Covenant? A curse, more like. He stole my power. There was no equity in the arrangement. My very essence was altered. Twisted into a tool to serve his desires. Your previous appearance. This is your true form, then. She looked like this in the voice. Perhaps, huh? perhaps not. What does it matter? Mysterious. Indeed, it doesn't. Regardless of your form, you are a void sent by nature. So answer me this. Are you our enemy too? In this world, only a fool would attempt to devour a stronger being. Oh, dang. She just say you a tiny person. <laughs> and though it was as an avatar, I lost you once. I have no desire to lose again. Oh, I was the other way around. Good enough for me. Now you will answer me a question. Xenos called you friend. That's what you are? A friend? Yes, in the loose terms that he is. What do we say? Strictly speaking, I'm CBTV. Cool. Yeah, you were leaning over there and the mic wasn't over there. Uh -huh. So, 
You're not a friend. <laughs> then... What is it? What is a friend? Medion is a friend. Sense makes sense. Okay, okay. That is very helpful information. Yeah. Where are the Reaper job quests? When you do, you become a Reaper. Oh. Duh. Oh, duh. First place they tried to reform back into the source and they failed miserably. This is where I belong. My home. This endless darkness you call the void. There was once light here and it shone its warmth upon creation. The lands were green and the seas were blue. Life flourished. Before the war, the Contra Memoria. Contra. It must have been a terrible war indeed. It shattered the balance, causing darkness to engulf the world. All life was transformed into monstrosities, void scent. We are the natural order now. As light begat Sin Eaters, darkness begat Void Scent. The sun was driven from the sky as fleeting day yielded to endless night. In time, even land and sea lost their distinction. And though the spark of reason had died in us, driven by memory's shadow, we formed factions and carved out domains. This castle, for instance, its erstwhile lord must have abided in such a place once upon a time. If I may, the darkness in you is too much for any man to harbor. To my eyes, you are indeed a void scent. Yet your knowledge of the past and your demeanor mark you apart from your brethren. You are different, that much is plain, but in what way I am unsure. As you say, I am Void Scent, but only in part. The darkness touched my mother when the war had only just begun, when I was still in the womb. As a child, I looked like any other, but darkness coursed through me, and I ceased to age when I'd become a woman grown. But that was then, and now, I may as well be one in full. I prey on the weak and serve the strong. I live to survive. Nothing more. Forgive me. It was not my intent to pry. I realize, too, that I have neglected to ask your name. As we say, mortal. You may call me Void Scent. Void Summer. That is liable to cause confusion. If you are not averse, we would address you by your true name. And call me what you will. I care not. <laughs> we get to name another one. How about Zero? Because it's almost Zeno, but not creative. Meaning nothing. A name as fitting as any. It's a great hat. The beginning. No, not nothing, but rather a beginning. For it remains to be seen what you will become to us. I 
as I said, I care not. Zero, then. I think it's a nice name. Here's to a fruitful partnership. A name is a string of sounds. Its meaning has no bearing on my nature. Partnership? Are you saying you wish to strike a bar bargain? Well, Zero, while there is no end to the questions we could ask, it is only fair that we tell you our purpose in coming here. We are searching for a dragon. One who came to your world long ago. A dragon? Yes. Ajdaya is her name, and she is my sister. If you have any knowledge of her, I beg you share it with us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is not what it sounds like. Did you say something? No. Somebody watches. I thought I heard a voice as well. The keening of void scent, perhaps. This place is as good as any. Let me have the ether now. Very well. Don't suck her dry. Oh. He's gonna steal it from us. You're mine. We struck it down, watched it die. <laughs> Fools. Death doesn't exist in this world. And I, I am free to return whensoever I please. Oh. Well, that makes things a little Death more complicated. Death doesn't exist. <gasps> of course. In the first, the power of light, of passivity, prevents life from emerging in the empty. But in the thirteenth, the power of darkness, of activity, prevents life from finding rest, even should soul be separated from flesh. So unless one's essence is absorbed by another, it is possible to return again and again. Sister. Drifting souls, by my power, be reborn! That's messed up. It's another death they want. I say we give it to them. You did not pay me enough for this. <clears throat> if you could lend us a hand, we'd be much obliged. That you would. But you already owe me a debt. And until you make good in it, I won't lift a finger. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll speak after you've won. But know that if you lose, I'll help myself to your ether. <laughs> the 
that a bothersome duty should deliver to me this lavish feast? Come, struggle with all your might. It will make you that much richer and tastier. We don't retreat. We don't retreat. Know until you try, and I'm always happy to experiment. Zero, is there no way to stop them from coming back? There is, but I have no reason to share it with you. Huh. <laughs> just, just throw her a bone of either. You know, Zero, you do owe us for one thing. We freed you from Xenos' grasp. Your name. You'll have your promised ether, but we are owed compensation for your name. A name she didn't want. But she asked that we give it to her. A name for which I did not ask but accepted nonetheless. But that I nevertheless did accept. <laughs> Would you stop it? <laughs> wow. Whoa, how'd she do that? She turned them into a crystal. Huh. They've been crystallized. Well now, that's quite the trick. She could have helped us instead of just standing there. Satisfied? Completely. Come, my friends. With Zero's aid, we can defeat him. Nice. What is this? What have you done? Now that I think on it, you owe me a debt as well. You may have missed your mark, but I won't miss mine. Dun dun dun! stuff of nightmarish men. What? My flesh? Why won't it heal? What is the meaning of this? Then sucked you up into a crystal. Hmm. To seal ether in crystal. <gasps> Memoria. But how? How can you have this power? Memoria. I don't know. Death has no place in this world. 
we are beyond it. And yet, ah, Lord Goldness, you have sent me to my doom. That the big curse you and back. your wretched flattery, and this abominable fate. All right. Na, 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 na. <laughs> cool gloves. Look at your pointy nails. Oh, this, do we get the succubus horns from her? No. Get that from uh, MGP. You are welcome, seekers of might. I, Golbez, have called you for hither. I, who would see us triumph in the coming crusade. That I may entrust you with command of our armies. Yes, yes, but what of the crew's gift? In exchange for our loyalty, we are to feast on the finest. <laughs> Shifty voice. And so you shall, for if you are to serve me, you must be strong. Then honor the pact and pray we are not disappointed. Alluring. She must be a succubus. Very well. Behold. Wow, Ashdaya. The fiery wings, the savage horns, it pulses with life. Such vibrant ether. This magnificent creature could only come from beyond the veil. Indeed. Feast, my friends. Feast and arise as my four arch fiends of the apocalypse. Oh no, does that mean they ate her all the way? As they are now, they can consume but a fraction of the dragon's ether. Oh. Just as well, the creature may yet serve other ends. Are you all right? Just a bit of a headache. The Void Sense essence remains, but it has been sealed away, transformed into crystal. Memoria. Scamlione called them. I take it they are connected to the war of which you spoke. Aye. Their use was central to the Contra Memoria, hence its name. Okay. And to my knowledge, the transformation is permanent. Ah. Huh. I see. We thank you for coming to our aid. I repaid a debt, and in doing so ensured that I received my own due compensation. 
Which I shall have now. Yes, yes. <laughs> I still have work to do, so I would thank you not to get carried away. <laughs> Such needy. Ether is the coin of choice. I appreciate the simplicity. They just <sighs> became blood sisters. That makes us even, I trust. Ether sisters. Ether sisters. They did this thing. <laughs> With their essence. With their essences and souls and such. Right then. When you picked up the crystal, you experienced a vision, did you not? Oh, tell me what I experienced and what I didn't, Ishtola. But I did. Your sister is alive. She is chained up. A dragon resembling a great worm. I dare to hope that it was Ashdaya. Even as it pains me to think she's been made to suffer. For the ambitions of this gold bears. We've been given much to consider. Let us take a moment to review what we know. Goodbye, that's it for Final Fantasy! That's it for Final Fantasy. You're pointing at the wrong camera. That's it for Final Fantasy. <laughs> Should I do still, it? She still hasn't figured it out. It's okay. <laughs>